Well, it looks like the iPhone 13 and iPhone 13 Pro have been out for about 11 weeks now, which is pretty crazy. A little bit over however many months, I'm not good with math. And I can definitely tell you throughout the last 11 weeks or several weeks of owning these iPhones, I can definitely tell you there's never been more of a difference between a standard model, the base model, and the Pro model until now. This has been the biggest differentiating factor between these two, but also there's a very similar price tagging structure here, whether you believe it or not. Now, definitely these iPhones are expensive and the difference between you know a $729 or $829 iPhone and an iPhone 13 Pro at $999 there's a big difference but when you think about it the 13 at $829 if you're getting it unlocked and the iPhone 13 at $999 there are some very similar structures here you know I would personally just recommend you to go and pick up that iPhone 13 Pro over the iPhone 13 because it's like less than a $200 upgrade now, if you know every dollar counts, then obviously get the 13. I would probably recommend getting an iPhone 11 at that point. But the pricing structure is the number one thing I noticed. You know, it's very, it's not similar, but there are a lot of similarities when it comes down to it. So that was the first thing that kind of stuck out to me. Now, secondly, with these type of devices, I noticed that speed is about the same, performance is about the same, even the camera quality to a certain extent is about the same thing for me. I didn't really notice that crazy big of a difference when it came down to the whole entire camera aspect. I did some camera comparisons here and there. I do want to say the iPhone 13 Pro is a better camera just because you know it does have that additional telephoto lens. You do have bigger sensors on that thing too, which is really cool. But when it came down to it, I didn't really, you know, think to myself, oh my goodness, the iPhone 13 is so much worse than the iPhone 13 Pro. But I also wasn't thinking to myself, oh my goodness, the iPhone 13 Pro is so much better than the iPhone 13. I didn't really think that I found that these cameras are very similar I would definitely say the 13 Pro maybe is the better one but unless you're like comparing them or not comparing them whatever I don't think you're going to notice that big of a difference when it comes down to them to be honest however I did see a pretty big difference when it came down to the overall usability of these phones now what does that mean well ProMotion is that one crazy cool feature with the new iPhone 13 Pro series, the Pro Max also has it. And some things Apple releases are gimmicks, I'm not going to lie. Sometimes when they say, oh, this camera is so much better, or this battery life is so much better, this and that, and all this other crazy stuff, the MagSafe capability, they talk about so many things for so long, and half the time it's not even that crazy cool of a feature. ProMotion is that one thing, I can definitely tell you, it is not really a gimmick, at least through my eyes. It is a really useful feature. When I use my iPhone 13 and I use my iPhone 13 Pro, I can tell you guys without a doubt, there are such strong capabilities by having a 120 hertz panel on your iPhone and it just makes things look so much smoother and so much better. Whenever I was using that iPhone 13 Pro, that was a very big difference. When I was using my 12 Pro and comparing it to my 12, you know, the body's a little bit different, this and that, it's not that big of a difference. With the iPhone 13 Pro, you're definitely getting a much smoother and the system, and the way they feel and the way they perform is a lot more different than you would think. The speed and performance is the same, but the smoothness aspect and that 120 hertz panel, there's a big difference. You can tell when you're using an iPhone 13 and you can tell when you're using an iPhone 13 Pro. With previous generations, you couldn't really tell like, yes, the iPhone 12 and 12 Pro, like yes, the 12 Pro feels more premium, but you couldn't really tell. They would kind of be the same thing. Same thing with the 11 and 11 Pro, 10R and 10S, like they're kind of the same thing. Yes, there's some differences here and there, but with the 13 and the 13 Pro, this is the biggest difference I think there's ever been from one base model iPhone and that upgraded, you know, up tier iPhone in, in a way, so. I think that was a pretty big difference for sure. But on top of that, the battery life was also a pretty big improvement from my iPhone 12 Pro. The 13 and the 13 Pro both have a really good battery life. I don't think I saw a crazy big difference between these two. I think they were within like 5% better, you know, within each other for my battery test. But the 13 Pro did beat the iPhone 13 for my test. So that was very interesting. I was not expecting that, but it is what it is. So that's a really big thing for the 13 Pro as well. And ultimately what I can tell you is when it comes down to both of these iPhones, you know, 11 weeks almost into it, wow, that's crazy, that the 13 Pro is definitely worth the money, I think, you know, it's definitely worth that extra money that you're going to spend on it. I would love to have seen, you know, an iPhone that doesn't cost as much or whatever, but when it comes down to it, an iPhone 13 Pro is definitely worth the money, in my opinion, and then the iPhone 13. You're definitely going to be seeing some bigger differences when it comes down to that device than on something like an iPhone 13. You know, if you have, you know, if you're on a budget and every dollar counts, then the iPhone 13 is the better one. But that I do think the better value per dollar here is with the iPhone 13 
Pro and not quite with the iPhone 13 this year, which is pretty crazy. It's not like every other year. So in terms of that, that pretty much covers it up. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.